<clears throat> whenever. Unlike atoms, whenever molecules move, they also rotate. And as a result of that rotation of the molecule, a change in energy can take place. And if that change in energy is high enough, an electron can transition from a ground state to an excited state. These are known as molecular electron transitions. So let's look at the following example that will deal with one. So suppose the separation distance between two identical atoms in the diatomic hydrogen molecule is given to be 0.074 nanometers. So basically we have the following diatomic molecule, our two identical H atoms, and the separation distance between their center of mass is given by this quantity. Now because these are two identical atoms, the mass of atom 1 is equal to the mass of atom 2. Now what exactly is the mass of either one of these two atoms? So if we take our periodic table, we see that the mass of the H atom is given by unified atomic mass unit. So 1.00794 unified atomic mass units. Now to convert this into kilograms, we simply multiply by the conversion factor. So 1.6605 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms per unified atomic mass units. The U's will cancel and we're left with this quantity. So this is the mass of either one of our two atoms inside our diatomic H molecule. So, let's begin with part A. So in part A, we want to calculate the reduced mass of our diatomic hydrogen molecule. Recall that in our discussion on the moment of inertia of diatomic molecules, we were able to define the reduced mass. We said the reduced mass given by mu is equal to this quantity. So we take the product of the mass of our two atoms inside the diatomic molecule and divide that by the sum of those masses. So we have 1.67 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms multiplied by itself divided by the sum of these two values. So notice the units on the top are kilograms squared, the units on the bottom are kilograms, so one of the kilograms cancel and our units are simply kilograms. So our reduced mass mu is equal to 8.387 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms. Now, let's move on to part B. So in part B, we actually want to calculate what the moment of inertia of our diatomic molecule is as it rotates in space. And we're going to use the result from part A. So recall that the moment of inertia of a diatomic molecule in terms of the separation distance and the reduced mass is given by this equation. So we derived this in the previous lecture. So I is equal to the product of mu and R squared, where R is the separation distance given in meters. So we take this multiplied by uh, 1 times 10 to negative 9, and we square that and multiply it by mu, the reduced mass. And that gives us about 4.59 times 10 to the negative 48 kilograms multiplied by meters squared. So this is our moment of inertia of our diatomic molecule. Now let's move on to part C. So in part C, now we want to calculate what our change in energy is as a result of the rotation when our electron transitions from L equals 0 ground state to L equals 1 excited state. So calculate the rotational energy change of the hydrogen molecule when the electron transitions from L equals 0 to L equals 1. So said another way, basically as our molecule rotates, it gains a certain change in rotational energy. So it gains a certain rotational energy and as a result of this increase in energy, 
an electron can transition from L equals 0 to L equals 1. We want to calculate what this change in rotational is. So we need to use this equation. So delta E rotational, the change or gain in rotational energy is equal to h bar squared divided by I, the moment of inertia, multiplied by L, where L is the upper L quantum number. So basically in this case, the higher L value is equal to 1. So we have 1 multiplied by the square of our constant h bar, 1.055 times 10 to negative 34 joules multiplied by seconds. Divide that by the moment of inertia calculated in part b, and that gives us about 2.42 times 10 to negative 21 joules. So we can also convert this value into electron volts by basically dividing it by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 and we get 0 0.0151 electron volts is the quantity of rotational energy our molecule gains and then the electron transitions from excuse me, from L equals zero to L equals one.